This award is really important to me because I, I have a sort of really basic, fundamental, almost primal uh, belief that we all deserve to be treated equally and in fact that we are all equal. And of course I also know that, that, that we're not. Uh, we're not all equal. I mean, duh. Um, but the kind of not equal I'm talking about isn't the kind of uh, not equal that has to do with opportunity or privilege or wealth. The people like, well, us here tonight, um, we are not equal because we're all lucky enough to be able to come here and donate some of our spare money to help others. And bizarrely though tonight, the uh, other people we are helping are for the most part ourselves. Um, <laughs> crazy. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm also not talking about not being equal in terms of race or religion either. Whilst I know that there's still huge prejudice in this country about colour, and ever-increasing prejudice and fundamentalism in the field of religion, mercifully it has been accepted by society and by the legal system that all people of all colours deserve to be treated equally and all forms of religion deserve to be respected equally. But you know, we could do a bit, a bit of work on that last one. Now, you, you know the kind of not equal I'm talking about. It's the kind of not equal that has to do with your sexuality. And as I look out at this room tonight, I, I see a sea of, of beautiful people, good people, kind, caring people, educated, with good jobs, pillars of the community. Who would think that a huge portion of you are regarded as second-class citizens, that you're looked down on, you're derided, you're prejudiced against, you're denied rights, and why? Have you committed a crime? Well, possibly in some states, actually, yes. <laughs> you know, don't you pay the government enough tax dollars to be treated the same as everyone else? The only crime I can see is that by dint of nature, you love differently. You are attracted to people of the same sex. You are queer. And ladies and gentlemen, we are the last bastion of accepted discrimination in this country, and it really has to stop. Um, I am queer. I am queer and I'm here. And, and I don't know if it's the fact that I'm Scottish and therefore I somehow genetically understand the injustices of persecution. <laughs> but I just don't see that there's anything wrong with being who I am, and I never have. And I'm so happy to be here tonight receiving this honour for the work I've done, but I don't ask for equality, I demand it.